This is not a sponsored video. What's up, sweet crew? You want to do this? Gonna send me naked pic, hello, bitch, lasagna. Your bob's very big, I'm kiss your bob's. In plenty, it is wild, nice. With this? Well, that's awesome. It's pretty simple to do, and all you really need is this. All right, first off, connect your Ronin S to the Ronin app. It's on both Android and iOS, so you don't have to worry about it. The default password is 12345678 if you didn't read the manual. Once you're connected, switch the gimbal over to a different user channel, like two or three. This way, you can program the roll on a different channel that you can easily switch over to. I don't think you want infinite spin as the uh, gimbal's main function. Jump over to configuration on the main menu and then control settings. You're gonna set channels one and two to NA, not applicable, and set channel three to roll and that's it now you can switch your Ronin S into flashlight mode by holding it out in front of you horizontally and double tapping the trigger once you're in flashlight mode hold the joystick to the left or the right and there you go super simple and it's a super cool shot that you'll use twice a year I really love the effect though now that we're done talking about how to do it here's a few important quick tips for this first off make sure your Ronin S is balanced properly if the balance is off it can really mess up your motors and it might stop during the spin if your camera stops don't keep forcing it. Shut the gimbal off and rebalance. You also want to make sure that your bolts are all tightened properly. I had a moment the other day when I didn't have this one tightened properly and the sled actually slipped down a little bit. It almost hit into the gimbal itself while it was on. And speaking of that, if you're in a situation where the gimbal is spazzing out and it's like spinning in a way you didn't, you didn't ask for, you can double tap the power button to freeze the motors. This can really prevent damage to your gimbal in the event of like bad balance or you just happen to make your gimbal a little unhappy. Trust me, you'll know if you're pushing it in the wrong direction. Fucking thing starts to buzz like the Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack, you know? This is the Rumble Pack. So if that does happen, just double tap the power button so that you can freeze the motors and not damage your gimbal. Another tip I have for you is shoot in a higher frame rate so you can slow it down in post. This is going to help you smooth out any little jitters you might have while you're moving around. And jumping off from that point, last but not least, during a 360 infinite roll, you want to make sure that if you are moving, you do so in a straight path either towards or away from your subject, or in a straight path from left to right in front of your subject. If you start to do any kind of curving with this, the gimbal can get really out of whack and get weird so you don't want to do that you don't want to damage your motor stay in a straight path all right sweet crew that's all i have for you today full review and balance guide is coming soon i really love this gimbal so far though i just want a little bit more time on it before i rush the stage and pretend i'm an expert on every aspect of it so thanks for watching you know what's goody smash subscribe do uh do something to the bell i don't know i'll leave that up to you and i'll see you in the next video darlings <coughs> What's up, sweet crew? It's into flashlight mode. Turn an S into flashlight mode. It's into flashlight mode. Fuck! Now you can switch your horizontally and double trap mode by holding it. Dude, I can't do anything right.